Can India stand tall in the face of airborne threats? A question that has sparked countless debates in international defense circles. In a world where geopolitical tensions are on a constant rise, having a potent air defense system is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. It's a high-stakes chess game played out in the skies, where nations strive to keep their citizens safe from threats, both seen and unseen. As we zero in on the Asian subcontinent, we find India, a country that has been making headways in bolstering its air defense capabilities. With a landscape as diverse as its people, India's air defense needs are unique and challenging. From the towering Himalayas in the north to the vast Indian Ocean in the south, defending this airspace is no small task. India, like any other nation, is not immune to threats. With potential adversaries at its borders, the country has had to rethink and redesign its defense strategy. The need to shield its skies is an ongoing priority. And this is where India's air defense system comes into play. India's defense strategy has always been one of deterrence, not aggression. It's about ensuring the safety and security of its citizens, preserving its territorial integrity and upholding its sovereignty. The essence of this strategy is reflected in its pursuit of advanced air defense capabilities. As we delve deeper into this subject, we come across Project Kusha, a critical initiative that aims to fortify India's air defense. This ambitious project, coupled with the recent S-400 deal, is set to revolutionize India's air defense landscape. Both are part of a broader strategy to enhance India's defensive prowess and ensure its skies remain secure. But what exactly is Project Kusha? What are its objectives? How is it going to change the face of India's air defense? Against this backdrop, India's answer lies in a promising initiative, Project Kusha. As we move forward, we will unravel the intricacies of this project, shedding light on its impact and significance in fortifying India's air defense capabilities. Enter Project Kusha, India's masterstroke in air defense. This initiative is an ambitious undertaking by the Indian Armed Forces, set to revolutionize the country's air defense capabilities. Project Kusha, a term that signifies happiness and satisfaction in Hindi, was born out of a need to bolster India's air defense. It was conceived by the country's top military authorities and strategists, who identified a dire need to enhance their aerial prowess. This project, while being a testament to India's growing military prowess, also serves as a beacon of reassurance for its citizens, promising a sky that's secure and well-guarded. The inception of Project Kusha was marked by meticulous planning and strategic foresight. It involved the collaboration of various military and defense agencies, each adding their unique expertise and knowledge to the mix. The Indian Armed Forces, the Defense Research and Development Organization, or DRDO, and the Ministry of Defense all played pivotal roles in the project's development. Their collective efforts aimed at one primary objective, to create a robust, impenetrable air defense system. An integral part of this project is the S-400 deal. This agreement, inked with Russia, marked a significant stride forward in India's defense strategy. The S-400, a state-of-the-art missile defense system, is known for its exceptional tracking and interception capabilities. Its inclusion in Project Kusha not only elevates the project's potential, but also symbolizes India's commitment to securing its skies. Project Kusha is more than just a defense strategy. It's a testament to India's resolve, its commitment to its citizens, and its place on the global stage. It's a clear message to the world that India is ready to protect its sovereignty and will not shy away from employing cutting-edge technology to do so. Now, let us delve into the technicalities that make Project Kusha a game-changer. What technological marvels does Project Kusha hold within its folds? Project Kusha is a testament to India's technological prowess and strategic thinking. It's a complex amalgamation of various equipment each with its unique role and capabilities, all working together to fortify India's air defense. 
One of the crown jewels of Project Kusha is the S-400 missile system, an acquisition that has been the subject of much intrigue and discussion. The S-400, a product of Russian engineering, is one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world. It's a multifunctional system capable of shooting down hostile aircraft, drones, and even ballistic and cruise missiles. Its radar system can track up to 300 targets simultaneously, ensuring a robust and comprehensive defense shield. But the S-400 isn't just about raw power, it's also about precision. It can engage targets at a range of up to 400 kilometers and at altitudes of up to 30 kilometers. This long reach and high altitude capacity give it a strategic advantage, allowing it to neutralize threats before they come within striking distance of important assets. The S-400 system is also highly adaptable. It can be configured to match the specific requirements of the terrain and the threat scenario. This adaptability makes it a valuable asset in a country like India, with its diverse geography and evolving security challenges. Project Kusha isn't just about importing foreign technology though, it's also about developing homegrown capabilities. The project envisages the development and deployment of various types of equipment, including radars, control systems, and communication systems. These systems are being designed to integrate seamlessly with the S-400 and other assets, creating a unified and effective air defense network. A key aspect of Project Kusha is the focus on network-centric warfare. This approach involves the use of communication networks to link various assets and units, enabling them to share information and coordinate their actions in real time. This enhances situational awareness and decision-making speed, making the defense system more effective and responsive. The technicalities of Project Kusha also extend to the realm of training, Operating such advanced systems requires a high degree of technical knowledge and skill. Hence, a significant part of the project is dedicated to training personnel to operate and maintain these systems. This not only ensures the effective use of the equipment but also builds a pool of skilled professionals contributing to India's technological and human capital. Clearly, Project Kusha is a complex and technologically advanced initiative. But what does this mean for India? It means a stronger and more secure India, ready to face the challenges of the 21st century. It means an India that is not just a consumer of foreign technology, but also a creator of it. And above all, it means an India that is determined to protect its skies, its people and its way of life. Project Kusha is more than just a defense project. It's a statement. Indeed. The reverberations of Project Kusha extend far beyond the confines of India's borders and its air defense capabilities. This initiative by the Indian Armed Forces is a testament to India's resolve to protect its sovereignty and its people, with no stone left unturned. Imagine an impenetrable shield, a protective barrier securing the skies over India. That's Project Kusha for you. It's not just about enhancing India's air defense system, it's about establishing an air fortress, a stronghold that could deter even the most formidable adversaries. Now, let's bring the recent S-400 deal into the mix. This acquisition, as part of Project Kusha, has taken India's air defense to a whole new level. The S-400 system, renowned worldwide for its precision and reach, serves as a significant boost to India's defense arsenal. It's like adding a new high-tech layer to the air shield, making it even more robust and resilient. But the impact of Project Kusha isn't confined to the realm of defense alone. It's a ripple that affects India's geopolitical standing as well, amplifying its voice in international affairs. It sends a clear message to the world. India is ready, India is capable, and India will not bow down. Project Kusha also has implications for the broader South Asian region. It instills an element of balance, a counterweight, if you will, to the shifting power dynamics. It's a beacon of stability, a symbol of strength that could potentially shape the course of regional politics. In essence, Project Kusha is a game changer. It's not just about missiles and radars. It's about strategic foresight, about preserving peace through strength. It's about fostering a sense of security 
among the Indian populace, knowing that their skies are watched over, their safety is prioritized. Project Kusha, therefore, not only strengthens India's air defense, but also fortifies its position on the global stage. In the grand scheme of things, where does Project Kusha stand? Project Kusha is a significant stride in India's quest for robust air defense capabilities. As we've explored, it is not merely a project but a testament to India's commitment to safeguarding its airspace. It represents an amalgamation of advanced technology, strategic planning and relentless dedication. The technical aspects of Project Kusha are intriguing, encapsulating cutting-edge technology and state-of-the-art defense systems. It is a symbol of India's technological prowess and an embodiment of the country's strategic foresight. The impact of Project Kusha is far-reaching, strengthening India's air defense and bolstering the country's security framework. The recent S-400 deal is a testament to this project's crucial role in fortifying India's air defense. Project Kusha thus aptly represents India's pursuit for a stronger, safer future in the skies. It is more than a project. It is a beacon of strength and a promise of a secure tomorrow.